Hi, this is Kayla. So today I want to show you how to make a seller squeeze page and create a very targeted ad in Facebook using that squeeze page. So I'm in my conversion dashboard and I'm going to come down here and click build squeeze. Under source, I'm just going to name it so that I can keep track of my clicks. I'm going to identify the area, which is going to be Gilbert. I'm not going to pick any options since this is a seller squeeze page and I'm going to click seller. So now I'm going to click build link and here's my URL. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and there's 958 listings so that looks good to go. Okay, I'm going to go over into my business page and I'm going to click this promote and then I'm going to use ads manager and we're going to up here in this green button we're going to create ad it's going to ask me what's the objective and it send people to my website here is where I'm going to go ahead and paste that URL and it's going to load that now. I can give this campaign a name. So I can say Gilbert Seller Squeeze and I will come back and add in the parameters that I select here. For area, I'm going to choose the city, Gilbert, Arizona, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this plus 25. I'm just going to do Gilbert. Also, on the age, I'm going to go a little older here because this is someone looking to sell a home. So I'm going to go 30 to 65. A couple more demographics that I'm going to select. Just to make this ad more targeted, I'm going to come under here to more demographics and I'm going to, going to financial, income. So. I think that I would like to have 50,000 or more on income. So I'm going to choose 50,000 and above for income. And Gilbert has a great mix of homes. So I think even going higher is perfectly fine here. Okay. I'm Okay, you know, actually it looks like I missed a couple on the income. Let me finish, make sure I get all of those. Because it sure is nice to sell $500,000 listings and work with million dollar buyers. Okay, I think I've got them all awesome. I'm also gonna come down here to more demographics and I'm going to do home and I'm going to select home ownership and we're going to specify homeowners not renters so at this point I think that is all I'm going to add there is another one that's interesting but I'm not going to use it for this I just want to show you if you come down here to behaviors you can find likely to move So now I'd have an ad that would go to people within those parameters that are likely to move. But as you'll see, it's fewer than a thousand people and that's just not the goal of this ad. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, so now I have my parameters set of who I want to target. And I have great reach, I think. 17,800 people and there was about a thousand homes so yeah I think that's a great a great reach now I have to decide how much I want to spend so I'm gonna go ahead and do per day five dollars I am gonna go ahead and well let's just specify a start and end date so I'm gonna start now I'd like it to run 
through the weekend and Monday, you know, maybe even Tuesday. I feel that people through the weekend, they, you know, decide that they you know, talk, maybe decide that they want to move. So that might be good. Okay. And then on the amount per day, I'm going to go a little bit higher actually. Like, $10 a day. Okay. That looks great. So remember I said that I, I might go back and add to this description. I'm going to add just the uh, parameters I set. So it was age 30 to 60, income above 50k, homeowners. I think I've got it all. So I am now ready to proceed on. I'm going to select an image for my ad and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to browse the library. Uh, Shutterstock has an agreement with Facebook that we can use their images. So I'm going to search for a, a beautiful kitchen picture. I feel that um, a great picture gets a lot of interest. And you know, right away I found this picture. I think this kitchen looks fabulous. So we're gonna go ahead and select that one. All right, and that should right now start popping up. Okay, a couple more things I wanna do with my ad before I'm ready to place the order. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna change the headline of the ad. And since I'm targeting people that might be interested in selling, I want to target this ad as Own and Gilbert. Now this next field, the text field, it's going to, that's going to be short and we just basically want it to convey what we're doing. So I'm giving them a free service. Receive the current value of your home in today's market. Okay, and that should finish populating. Yes, it did, awesome. I can also choose a call to action button if I'd like, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna add learn more. I just think it looks kind of cool when it pops up. See, there's my button. Okay. Okay, one other thing I wanna do is you'll see down here, we can remove where we want the ad and I do not want it in the right column. I think that ads in the right column are a little bit more gimmicky and I, I don't think that they do as well. So I'm all set. I'm gonna go ahead and hit place order and my ad's ready to rock. So that's how easy it was. If you guys have any questions, I'd love to hear from you and would love to answer them. Have a good night.